Guten, Guten Tag. Tag! Today we will be learning about the German vowels and how they relate to the organs of speech. We will also be giving you in some instruction on how to correctly pronounce vowels which do not occur in English, namely the umlauts. Here are our learning goals. Through the next 10 minutes, we hope to improve your ability to pronounce the German vowel sounds and your ability to properly use the organs of speech in doing so. In this video, we will first help you to understand the sounds and how they are formed. This will include learning the organs of speech and the vowel triangle as guides. Then we will draw comparisons between English and German and give you examples pronouncing some of the most challenging German vowel sounds. We will finish with a number of exercises for practice. If at any time you need to review a sound or need more practice before moving on, feel free to pause the video or repeat sections until you are comfortable. These are the organs of speech. It will be important to learn about these. Various alterations of the organs of speech produce unique sounds. This diagram depicts the different organs. Some of the key ones are the lips, tongue, the walls of the oral cavity. We encourage you to pause the video here for a moment to familiarize yourself with these organs. These terms will be used to describe how to form your mouth when creating certain sounds. Feel free to return to this image at any time if you are unsure of how to orient your mouth during pronunciations. This diagram depicts the various parts of the tongue in greater detail. Some of these terms will be used when describing how to form certain German sounds. This is the vowel triangle, which depicts the different vowel sounds. We can break the sounds into different categories based on where they fall on the triangle. This corresponds to where in the mouth the vowels are pronounced. From left to right, we are looking at the location of the tongue from the front to the back of the mouth. Looking at the triangle from top to the bottom shows where the tongue is located from the top to the bottom of the mouth. The first way that the vowel triangle can be broken down is by classifying vowel sounds from front to back. Vowel sounds near the front are formed when the tongue is towards the front of the mouth. Contrary to this, vowel sounds at the back of the triangle will occur with the tongue towards the rear of the oral cavity. Now for an example. On the left are words that are formed at the front of the mouth, and the words on the right are formed at the back. You should be able to tell the difference of the location of your tongue while saying these. Let's practice together. Front. Gaben. Gaben. Kaza. Kaza. Bitter. Bitter. Müssen. Müssen. Zoka. Zoka. Butter. Butter. Zuchen. Zuchen. Opa. Opa. Another way that the vowel triangle can be broken down is to classify the vowel sounds from high to low. Vowel sounds formed near the top of the triangle are classified as high, with the tongue towards the top of the oral cavity. At the bottom of the triangle, we have the low vowel sounds, which are formed with the tongue in a low position in the oral cavity. Now here are some examples of high and low words or sounds. Um, we're going to practice saying each set of words on both sides. Those on the left represent words whose vowel sound is located high in the mouth, while those on the right are located low. Take note of how the positioning of your tongue changes as you switch between the two types of words. High words. Lieben. Lieben. Lügen. Lügen. Rufen. Rufen. Kusa. Kisse. Fahren. Fahren. Sola. Solle. Mann. Mann. Können. Können. Vowel sounds can also be affected by the roundedness of the lips. In some cases, the rounding of some vowel sounds results in the formation of another vowel sound. In American English, rounding is seen mostly with the words that have the U sound. In German, there are many more variations namely the umlaut vowel sounds, it is important to round your mouth correctly in order to pronounce words with these sounds properly. Now let's practice saying some words with varying degrees of rounded and unroundedness. Notice how the shape of your lips changes based on whether you are saying a rounded or unrounded word. Now we're going to try saying each of these word pairs. When saying one of the unrounded words, take your hands to the corner of your lips and slowly pull them flat. Notice how the sound changes. 
see how one word becomes the other. Fühlen, 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 spülen, spülen, spielen, spülen, lügen, liegen, liegen, lügen. Küste, Küste, Kiste, Küste. Many of the German vowel sounds are near identical to those in English. However, there are several which are quite different. Those are highlighted on this vowel triangle. We will now go into detail on how to pronounce these vowel sounds. There will be example words and exercises to help you master their pronunciation. Our first sound is oo. Oo. This sound does not really exist in English. A similar sound to this would be when pronouncing the word look with a Scottish accent, such as look. Using the organs of speech to pronounce this, raise the dorsum of the tongue to the front of the oral cavity while the lips are rounded. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Here is an example word to practice with. Luca, Luca. Now let's try saying these on your own. Kisser, Kisser, Dimmer, Dimmer, Ipping, Ipping, Missin, Missin. Our next sound is ö. This sound isn't found in English. To pronounce this, have the tongue in the mid position with the front of the oral cavity half open while using slightly rounded lips. Ö, ö, ö. Here is an example word. Löffel, löffel. Well, try saying these words on your own. Gutter, gutter, löcher, löcher, können, können, hülle, hülle. Our next sound is oo, oo. This sound is similar to that found in English words moon and soon. You can make this sound by having the dorsum of the tongue near the hard palate with the blade of the tongue in contact with the lower incisors and towards the alveolar ridge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here is an example word. Lugan. Lugan. Now try saying these words on your own. Susan, Susan, Bücher, Bücher, Fühlen, Fühlen, Grünen, Grünen. Our next sound is er, er. This sound does not exist in English. This sound can be produced by raising the dorsum of the tongue toward the soft palate while keeping the sides of the front of the tongue to the lower, inci to the lower incisors. During this process, the lips are rounded and pushed forward. Uh, uh, uh. Here is an example word. Curtain. Curtain. Now try practicing these on your own. Hören, hören, lösen, lösen, ströme, ströme, größe, größe. Our last sound is A. 
A. To truly pronounce this sound correctly, it would be close to that of the Bavarian pronunciation. However, many of us tend to say it more like speakers in northern Germany would. This sound is like that found in the words name and late. One can pronounce this sound by raising the dorsum of the tongue towards the hard palate and keeping the blade of the tongue in contact with the lower incisors while remaining lax. A, A, A. Here is an example word. Nedig. Nedig. Now try saying these. Käse, Käse, Fähre, Fähre, Schämen, Schämen, Wählen, Wählen. Now that you have had some instruction, it is time for some more review. You may want to review the organs of speech before doing this exercise. What sound would you get if you raised the dorsum of the tongue to the front of the oral cavity while having the lips rounded? U as in kusa, U as in buta, U as in löffel, or A as in man. The correct answer is U as in kusa. What sound would you get if you raised the dorsum of the tongue toward the soft palate while keeping the sides of the front of the tongue to the lower incisors with the lips rounded and pushed forward? U as in Bute, Ö as in Löffel, A as in Mann, or Ö as in Töten. The correct answer is Ö as in Töten. What sound would you get if you raised the dorsum of the tongue towards the hard palate? while keeping the blade of the tongue in contact with the lower incisors in a lax fashion. A as in Käse, Ö as in Löffel, A as in Mann, or Ö as in Töten. The correct answer is A as in Käse. Which words contain the long Ö sound? Süßen, Lügen, Lücke, Müssen, Bücher, Üppig, Fühlen. The correct answers are Süßen, Lügen, Bücher, and Fühlen. Which words contain the short Ü sound? Löffel, können, töten, hören, Hülle, Größe. The correct answers are Löffel, können, and Hülle. If you are still having trouble with certain sounds or would like even more practice, we suggest that you try to watch the video again or go and reach out to some of these other resources. Online dictionaries are one good source as they often provide clips from native speakers. A couple of other sources would be, our, would be the textbook that we used in helping us make this presentation and your German professor. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Tschüss!